so what is up everybody you're welcome back to the channel man and yeah it's another straight talk to the camera one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys as you have seen from the title of this video we're going to be talking about something something really 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 important man <laughs> it's something something really really important and i feel like a rapper right now i'm going to be talking about a particular mind hack that will help you heal from your addictions okay as most of you may know last year 2020 i was so focused i'm, I'm still focused on that i was so focused on eliminating bad habits because i mean when i eliminate bad habits the new and the good habits will have room to exist eliminating bad habits and filling it up with good and um, habits that help me be more productive one of those habits was <laughs> um, I, I started practicing no fab and that was one of the hardest habits I, I would say I I had to deal with you know getting out of the PMO addictions and all that but then um, I'm glad it's headed to a great path you know I just want to share one thing that helped me overcome most of these habits in 2020 and I'm still overcoming some right now that one thing is this not focusing on that bad habit okay not placing priority on that habit and we try to do away with bad habit like when we say I want to get rid of this habit then we focus all our attention on that habit and then we're trying to get rid of it now when you think about it again you'd realize that you're feeding yourself more with that habit without even knowing because you're focused on that habit like you're really really focused on it your your whole intention is to get rid of it but then one thing you should notice whenever you're doing such things is that your mind kind of plays a game with you whenever you place priority on something you tend to fall back into it at some point i realized this and instead of placing my whole attention and priority in eliminating this particular habit or in overcoming this particular situation or in doing whatever it may be i started doing what is meant to be done and what i mean by that is that i started bringing in the things that can replace that particular stuff instead of focusing on it just for example people that are trying to eliminate one thing or the other in their lives they bring sort of uh, something that looks like a board or something and then they check the days they did that particular thing and the days they did not and all that it's good to do that you know it's good to keep yourself in check like that but what that helps you do <laughs> is fall back into that same thing because when you wake up in the morning the first thing that goes to your head is oh okay today am i gonna do this you're so focused on that particular board that you're not even focused in replacing that particular habit with something else life upholds vacuum if you don't replace something with something else then the older stuff is still gonna be there this is one thing that helped me do away with most of the bad habits so instead of drinking carbonated drinks <laughs> always uh, i started taking more water i'm still i'm still trying to battle with this <laughs> instead of going through my phone in the night before going to sleep i play music or i do something else in order to avoid some things you know those prime fapping times like jacks would say it <laughs> now that gives room for the original thing that you intend to be to actually be but whenever you always think about it like this oh i don't want to do this today trust me that day you're gonna do this or whenever you say and it's been three days i've not done this wow it feels so good and then you start getting the intention and the urge to do that again see the real truth is this whatever you behold that is what you become even the bible says so stop placing priorities on the things you want to garbage in your life one other issue i want to address is this most times we treat bad habits as though we want to eliminate them for a certain time 
and then when that time passes then we can fall right back into them just like not getting regular exercise when i work out today i check that i work out today when i do this today i check that i did that today that gives me an idea that i'm doing this because i want to do this today but then when you see it as a long-term stuff you're not gonna do that because you would actually start implementing it in your life as a lifestyle there is no need for you to wake up in the morning and check i have eaten today there is no need for you to always go to the board in the morning and check i just took my bath when you see regular exercise as a healthy thing to do or not fapping as a normal thing to do you know returning to that normal state returning to that state where these things are not an issue so don't treat them as though they are something you want to deal with for a particular point in time and then when you're tired <laughs> you fall back in growing up a couple of things have messed with our lives when we are kids we're so innocent we're so cool you know we don't have issues of life bothering us but life creeps in a whole lot of things happen and um, you coming to the realization that things have messed with your life is a good thing now what you should do is to start looking at ways to bring it back to that original state you know that is where i'm heading towards anything i don't want to do for the rest of my life i don't see the points doing it at all so that is what i wanted to put out today and i hope this one helped someone so stop placing priorities on um the irrelevant things the only way to face them out forever i mean the only way to wipe them from the surface of your life is to forget about them like they never existed that is the raw truth guys i know a lot of you will be like this dude i've been on noon green for some time now i'm, I'm starting to develop some love for noon green <laughs> i don't know why this is actually a different shirt um from the other one and it looks so cool I mean, just that the line, just neon green, you know, the color is so cool and vibrant. <laughs> Please share this video to someone out there and like this video and subscribe. Let's get to that 10k goal, all right? Um, I really do appreciate you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.